This is the new Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 16 2022 edition and this is an insanely powerful dual screen laptop and I'll talk about it but first this came in this massive box with some really cool things in it so let's check it out. So the box has the ROG Zephyrus Duo obviously but in the box you also get this nice palm disc because there's no palm disc on the laptop. There's also the ROG Delta headset which has RGB and bring excellent sound quality especially for gaming. You also get this really cool ROG Ranger gaming backpack. There's also the ROG Chakram Core mouse which has RGB obviously and is great to use and even has a frosted palm disc that can be opened up and closed magnetically. Now this is super cool and lastly you get this thank you card. Do note that in the retail box, you only get this palm rest and this mouse. But yeah, the other accessories are really cool. Anyway, let's talk about the laptop now because there is a lot to talk about. And first, this looks awesome. The Zephyrus Duo follows a sleek all metal black design that looks stealthy and classy. There's the two tone gradient ROG logo along with the classic Republic of Gamers slash pattern. There's also the dot matrix design here that looks cool. The bottom of the laptop features line designed intake vents for fans and plastic cutouts for a design that looks nice. Besides that, you get the rubber feet. Now, what's even cooler is this hinge. This is the hinge in action and I love how the secondary display lifts up for a better viewing angle and also better thermals. Yes, there are actually two fans below the secondary display. And this is also very solid. Asus says it can handle 20 kgs of weight. Now, we did try and press it, manhandle it and it felt solid. Also, the new hinge slides the secondary display even more than before. So you get this space below where Asus has added a semi-black transparent glass through which you can see the PCB and there's even subtle RGB here. Now it is Zephyrus Duo, so the two displays are the big highlight. Let's talk about the primary display first. So there are actually two display variants. One comes with the world's first dual-spec panel that can switch seamlessly between 4K 120Hz to FHD 240Hz and that is really cool. But we have the other display variant and this is epic too. Just check out the display specs. This has a big 16-inch mini LED matte display that's absolutely stunning. I mean, it brings all the mini LED advantages. This has 512 dimming zones for an even level of brightness across the display, better color reproduction and excellent HDR performance. Honestly, it shows. The colors in the display look very vivid and punchy. Also, this has 100% DCI-P3 coverage, Pantone validation. So this is apt for creators too who want to do photo editing or color grading. Now, mini LED displays also bring deeper black levels and it is true here. The blacks are almost OLED level deep and this has support for Dolby Vision and HDR10 and supported movies and shows look really, really good. As for the brightness, this can go up to 1100 nits with HDR on, but even without the HDR mode, this actually gets very bright. See, this is actually a gorgeous display and complementing this is a four speaker setup with Dolby Atmos support. There are actually two speakers and two woofers, which are dual force cancelling, so act as four woofers. So you can call it a six speaker setup really. Now the sound is loud and room filling and the speaker quality is very good and very crisp even at max volumes. There's also good bass, not thumping, but for a laptop setup, very good. Anyway, let's talk about this secondary screen. Now, this is Asus's ScreenPad Plus screen, which is a 14-inch 4K touchscreen. And one of the biggest complaints in previous dual laptops have been about this display's brightness and colors, and Asus has fixed them here. The screen now goes up to 400 nits, and it has 100% sRGB color gamut for accurate colors. I mean, the display does look really good and better than previous generations. A lot of the times we played a match or an F1 race on the secondary display while working on the primary one, and it is actually a great experience. Plus, there are all the ScreenPad Plus features. You get all the ScreenPad Plus apps here, like handwriting or Armory Crate. Yes, you can open Armory Crate here and see everything while gaming. There are also task groups here, so you can launch multiple apps at once on both the screens. In fact, you can now open three apps on this screen side by side like this. There's also App Navigator, which lets you move apps from the primary screen to the secondary screen and vice versa. You can also have control panels for different apps. For example, in Photoshop, you can have the brush size dial, buttons for undo, flip, and sliders for brush opacity and more. You can see streaming statistics, comments bar, and more while streaming on Twitch. Now, this is really cool and there are a lot more apps supported and you can see all the buttons and dials you can have in the Control Center app. Now, all of this works really well because the specs here are crazy. The RG Zephyrus Duo comes with the new Ryzen 9 6900HX processor which is even more power efficient with its new 6 nanometer architecture while bringing the power with 8 cores, 16 threads and a max clock speed of 4.9 GHz. This is powerful stuff. Now, the laptop is available in multiple GPU variants but the one we have comes with RTX 3080 Ti with 16 GB GDDR6 VRAM and 165 watts of total graphics power. The storage and RAM have been updated to 2TB PCI Gen 4 SSD which is upgradable to 4TB and 32 GB a fast DDR5 RAM that can be upgraded to 64 GB. Yeah, this is a power pack laptop and the benchmarks are obviously very good. The SSD speeds are 
great. As you can see, the 3D Mark's high score shows that this should handle AAA titles on the best settings. The Cinebench scores are extremely high and the laptop does really well in the Puget Bench Photoshop test as well as the Premiere Pro test, which means photo editing, video editing, no matter what you throw at it, it'll handle with ease. Now we primarily played games on this and it's an awesome experience. Here is Forza Horizon 5 on ultra settings and native resolution. And first of all, the game looks stunning on this screen. And second, the gameplay is smooth and nice. The FPS is generally around 65, 70 with the max FPS around 90. Now this is Far Cry 6 at ultra settings and again, max resolution. And the FPS is similar to Forza and the gameplay is once again really smooth and responsive. We also played an eSports title, Rainbow Six Siege, and the FPS average is around 140. See, the point is this is an amazing laptop when it comes to gaming and even the overall performance. It easily runs all AAA titles on ultra settings, and I like how good the thermals are. The laptop has dual fans with five copper heat pipes, and there are a number of outflow vents here, and all of this combined keeps the laptop cool even during intensive gaming. I mean, the surface of the laptop does not get hot or warm, so you can game for long hours. The fans do get very loud on turbo mode, but that's kind of expected. Overall, this is an excellent cooling system, and you can keep track of things via Armory Grade. There are different performance profiles, there's mux with support as well, and you can customize all the RGB in the laptop, be it the RGB on the headphones and mouse, or the perky RGB on the keyboard. I mean, this is the keyboard, and the perky RGB lighting does look really cool. As for the keyboard and trackpad, there is no palm rest, but Asus bundles this palm rest in the box, which I already showed you, and you'll need this to use it comfortably. Anyway, the keyboard is a chiclet keyboard with 1.7mm key travel and key rollover, and the keystrokes feel very satisfying, and I also like how the keycaps have been shaped. The trackpad is a little awkward to use with its right end placement, but its glass surface is smooth and it also has this digital numpad with a red backlight that you can enable. The port selection is good. The left has the power in port, a USB-A port, a USB-C port, micro SD reader and the 3.5mm jack. The right has a USB-C port and there are ports on the back too, an HDMI port, a USB-A port and an RJ45. When it comes to connectivity, there's Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2. The battery is a 90 watt hour module and this is a gaming laptop with some intensive components. So I wasn't expecting great battery life, but with the display set to high brightness, mux switch on, I got a battery life of around four and a half hours, which is decent enough. The 280 watt adapter is huge and supports fast charging the laptop went to 49% in just 30 minutes. One thing I don't like is the 720p webcam on what is obviously a flagship laptop, although there is IR support, so you can use it to unlock the laptop. Hey guys, this here is a video from the 720p web camera of the Zephyrus Duo 16 2022 edition and this should also give you a pretty good idea about the mic. So let us know in the comments what you think. Let's talk about pricing. The new ROG Zephyrus Duo 16 2022 edition starts at Rs 2.5 lakhs and the variant we have costs a whopping 3.9 lakh rupees. So yeah, this is an expensive top of the line gaming laptop that's definitely not for everyone. The pricing about this is definitely a remarkable laptop with some big highlights. First of all, the Zephyrus Duo 16 is an out and out fantastic gaming laptop with an outstanding combo of performance, graphics and thermals. Then there's the stunning mini LED display that is just perfection be it for multimedia, gaming or content creation. Lastly, there's the super unique secondary screen that makes this whole package even more appealing. Well, what do you guys think of the new Zephyrus Duo 16 2022? Is this like your dream laptop? Comment down below and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.